James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 12th, 2023, 3 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We have a buoy in event mode over off the coast of Washington. Looks like it could be associated with the Cascadia subduction zone where the Juan de Fuca plate is being pushed under the North American plate by the expanding Pacific plate. We are going to get some additional information. This has been in event mode for over 12 hours. Again, we'll see if there's any earthquakes in the area and we'll go ahead and get some detailed information right now on buoy 46419 which we have seen in event mode before and it looks like there's several volcanoes under the water in that location that could be a possible cause for these events so as you can see this happened well as far as gmt time yesterday on the 11th our event is this red area right here this is the water column height at station 46419 Let's take a detailed look at the event itself. Again, this was a very extremely minor event, especially to keep the buoy in event mode for 12 plus plus hours. But I did want to cover this to see if there were any earthquakes or what may be the possible cause to this buoy in event mode. Let's take a look. I want to point out all the underwater volcanoes here. We have the Union Seamount the Seminole Seamount, the Springfield Seamount. There's actually even one closer than that, the Heck Seamount. And these are all Seamounts as well. What are Seamounts? Well, that's a good question. Why don't I teach you? A Seamount is a large submarine landform that rises from the ocean floor. It doesn't reach the surface of the water. We've talked about this. Seamounts are typically formed from extinct volcanoes that rise abruptly and are usually found rising from the sea floor to certain heights. So, is it extinct or is it not extinct? I doubt that all of them are, but they consider extinct anything that hasn't erupted in 10,000 years. A speck of time. So, looking for possible causes... We have some activity here where the Juan de Fuca plate meets the Pacific and North American plate. A couple of decent sized earthquakes. And my belief again is, and this is going to be located in this area here, that one of these seamounts down here that we can all see clearly are the cause of what's going on. And there are a lot of them in the area. Now, they're not named as well as they should be. And obviously, this is the Juan de Foucault plate here that's subsiding under the North American plate, being pushed by the Pacific plate. Every bump you see is a seamount or underwater volcano. One of the two, I guess. Underwater volcano, if not this, uh, extinct, and seamount, if extinct. 10,000 years, although we've had two volcanoes wake up and blow up in the past 60 days that haven't been active in 17 and 16 million years. Wow. For those of you not familiar with the Cascadia subduction zone, I'm going to explain it very quickly here. The Juan de Fuca plate sits in between the Pacific plate and North American plate. It's being pushed by the Pacific plate. Under the North American plate, it's subsiding under the North American plate, which is forcing magma to the surface. The surface being the Cascadia Volcanic Ridge, the Olympic Volcano up here, Snake River Caldera, Craters of the Moon, Yellowstone, etc. So when we see activity in this area, it's very worrisome. Again, the Juan de Fuca plate being pushed by the Pacific plate under the North American plate. God bless you guys. Share, subscribe, and always remember, 
anything is possible in bizarro world.